breaking news out of Santa Monica. A pool of blood between a pair of luxury cars as a home invasion takes a violent turn. Police say the attackers demanded money, and when that didn't work, they resorted to a hammer and a knife. Then it turned into a standoff. CBS 2's Tom Waite is live in Santa Monica, where one suspect has just been caught. Tom? Rick and Susie, I can tell you one of those suspects, as you said, caught during a flashbang grenade. They went in and got that suspect from one of the front yards here in this very wealthy neighborhood. The victim in all this is a wealthy developer and businessman. Let's go to some video of his home. You can see this is a multi million dollar home with luxury cars there parked in the front driveway. Here's what we know we're told by police that around 6 30 tonight, two suspects entered the home. They barged inside and demanded money. According to family friends, the the two people inside, father and son, didn't have enough cash or didn't have what the suspects wanted. Those suspects then started attacking the father and son with a hammer and a knife. We're told that their injuries were very serious, that the father may have been stabbed more than 20 times during the attack. That father, we have a picture of him. His name is Imtiaz Tar. And as we mentioned off the top, he is a wealthy businessman and developer. Neighbors say he's very successful and often likes to purchase very luxurious cars. And he parks those outside in front of his home. Some are worried that those cars may have been a way to lure in these thieves. We did talk to some witnesses who saw the aftermath of all this. It was horrifying. We see the ambulance come out and the mom come out, and she's in the passenger side of the ambulance, and she has blood on her hands, and she's like screaming, like, pray for him, pray for him. We see uh, this guy coming out on a stretcher, and he's covered in blood. Like I, it was, so, it was so bad we couldn't tell what age he was. Uh, and then the mom came out and she ran over to us and she said, "That was my son. Uh, he got stabbed right here." And she was telling us and she was crying. It was, it was, it was heartbreaking. One of the attackers is still out there. We're told he left in a vehicle. We don't have a description of that yet. We just learned that a replica handgun was found in the area of this attack. So we're trying to figure out what role that played. As far as the two victims, we're told they're likely to both survive. One of the men was not as severely injured as the other. We're live tonight in Santa Monica. I'm Tom Waite. Back to you in the studio.